Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name is Corey, better known as the Seaman. Now I want to welcome you to another edition of the Seaman's Cinema. Sit down and the final edition in uh, the Seaman's Horror Movie Tuesday run. It has been a, a, a fun day, man. Uh, talking horror movies, whether it's trailers or, or actual reviews and interacting with you guys. Um, it's been a real solid day. I really enjoyed this, and then maybe... When I get to a more stable place, seems like you guys like when I talk horror, and I love talking horror with you guys. But maybe when I'm in a more stable uh, situation with schedule, uh, and you know can can be more consistent here, may, maybe we'll do a, a, a horror movie Tuesday more frequently. Um, you know, talk about things that are out, things that are coming up, maybe things from the past because it's been enjoyable. But unfortunately, today's horror movie Tuesday has to come to a close, and it comes to a close on. My least favorite movie of all the movies that we've been talking about today. Um, you know, if you compare, if you put this movie next to, uh, you know, The Invisible Man or The Lodge, the two movies I really, really enjoyed, they look like the best movies you've ever seen in your life. And if you put it next to a movie like Fantasy Island, which I did not enjoy, and you want to, you don't see it a lot. You want to see the see man talk about a movie he didn't like? You can check out my review to Fantasy Island right there. And I even mentioned this at the end of that review. If you put Fantasy Island right next to this movie. Fantasy Island looks like an Oscar caliber film. Uh, like my thing with Fantasy Island was like it didn't do a lot of things, it didn't scare me, um, it, it didn't make me care too much about its characters, and for the most part, I was just like, huh, wildly entertaining and fascinating. Next to this movie, because this movie legitimately does zero good things. I got nothing good to talk about with this movie, which is rare for me because that doesn't happen too often. Um, how did we get here? How did we get to this place? Well, why don't you pull up a chair, man, take a seat. We're getting ready to dive in, spoiler-free, into Brahms the Boy 2. Now, I promise, I'm, I'm going to try to make this quick, because uh, I don't want to like live on, on a sour note, leave a bad taste in anybody's mouth at the end of the day, but I, I want to talk about this film, because I was a fan of the boy. Not everybody was a fan of the boy, and I'm going to spoil some things, so if you are interested in, in this world and you want to go check out you know, the boy... Leave now. I'll do this when I'm done so you can come on back. But we're going to go a little spoil heavy into the boy. Boy is a movie um, about uh, you know an elderly couple. They lo lost their son. The, 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 the mother has replaced the son with this terrifying looking doll. You'd think like, if you're going to replace your son with a doll, you'd find something not this creepy looking. But this doll, whatever. It's become their child now, essentially, and they're going to go away, and they hire a nanny, and the nanny comes in and is like, I die, and it's this list of rules or whatever, and then, you know, it plays like a haunted doll movie, where once the, the, the old folks leave, and they leave for a very specific reason and on purpose, um, weird things start happening in the house. As, as the nanny starts to not follow all the rules, things start happening and you're kind of getting Annabelle feels like the doll will move. He'll be here. And then the next time you go in the room, he's over here or his head will turn. Um, but you never physically see any of that happen, which, you know, is textbook to a degree. Um, but it's the end of the movie, man. And it's the end of the movie that made or broke the movie for people. People who wanted a haunted doll movie were disappointed because the end of the movie tells you that the doll's not haunted. And, I ended up really liking it because it was a twist I never saw coming. Completely surprised me. And if you can surprise me, you're scoring extra points. Um, and what ends up happening is that the son actually is alive and been living in the walls of the house this whole time. Which in and of itself is super, super creepy and unnerving and weird. And then just the way it all plays, I'm like, that was actually kind of clever. Like, you, you tricked me. I thought I was getting an Annabelle movie. But instead, I got something that makes a lot more sense in reality. It's grounded kind of in reality to some degree. And I dug that. A lot of people didn't. Now, you, you get to Brahms the Boy 2, and essentially, this is a switch. It goes, okay, people were mad that we didn't do the Haunted Doll story. Now we're going to do the Haunted Doll story. So much that in the trailer, you see the head physically move, or you see the eyes move, or you see its mouth open, and bugs fly out of it. And look, that you could say that's undercutting the first film. But if you're smart and you kind of tie it to like, oh, the death of the guy that was in the house the whole time, Brahms, the death of Brahms in The Boy leads to the doll being haunted, even though the doll gets broken. If someone puts the doll back together, maybe that's where the spirit goes. That would have made a ton of sense. Nope. This doll has been haunted from day one, even when Brahms had it. 
Dow was haunted. It's been haunting people for forever. That really undercuts your first film. And then you don't execute on that front. All right, we're done talking about the boy. You can come on back. Um, so yeah, like it was one of those things where, look, I've seen other franchises do this, where the first movie kind of falls flat for certain people, and then the second movie really elevates. Uh, Ouija. The Ouija series. First Ouija movie, real bad. Second Ouija movie, really, really good. And even though I enjoyed the boy, I was like, well, a lot of people didn't. So maybe going this route will elevate it. Nah. Mm -mm. Nothing happens in this movie. Absolutely nothing. Like, I didn't think much happened in Fantasy Island. (laughs) Fantasy Island was like a marathon of things, man. Just super entertaining. It was scary. It it, it was interesting when you look at it next to this movie. Because this movie, literally, there's nothing good to talk about. I want to... Give props to Christopher Convery, uh, who does an okay job being kind of creepy, off-putting boy who gets attached to this doll that's speaking to him and communicating with him. And I mean, you get to points where like he's got a mask that looks like the doll's mask on. That stuff should be freaking me out. And Convery doesn't do a terrible job. For the most part, everybody here does an okay job with the okay subpar material they're given. Um, I and mean, Katie Holmes is, eh, you know, uh. uh Anybody, really, that pops up in this movie is, eh, the best person in the group is probably Christopher Convery, um, because he probably has the most interesting things to do in the movie, but they're not interesting, and the movie isn't scary. Uh, like, the, the jump scares don't work. The the haunted doll stuff doesn't work. I mean, you get to some imagery at the end that's, like, from a design standpoint, creepy. It is creepy. It is scary looking. Not scary at all in the execution of the movie. Like, it happens and you just go, huh, interesting design choice, but, like, it's not creeping me. Like, it should have been making me go, oh, no, oh, don't do, why are we doing that? Nah, it doesn't, it doesn't do any of those things. (laughs) None of the scares work. Like I said, I think the story undercuts the original film too much. It almost discredits the original film to a degree, and the way it tries to tie into that film just didn't work for me. And when you have subpar material, you're not going to get any standout performances, and... As I said in Fantasy Island's review, if you're not going to scare me, entertain me, right? Like, if I'm coming into a movie that I think is supposed to be scary and ends up not being a scary, entertain me. You know, Fantasy Island, you could argue, is a sci-fi movie to a degree, but it didn't entertain me. This is a horror, you can't put it anywhere else, it's a horror movie, it's a ghost movie. Didn't scare me, didn't entertain me, and I'm going to put all of that blame on uh, writer Stacy Manier and director William Brent Bell. Um, like I said, I don't think the material is that strong. There are elements where I could see maybe on paper where this maybe looked like it was going to work, but the translation from paper to screen definitely just murders any chance of anything on paper that looked like it might work. Um, and I think that falls on the head of our director, William Brent Bell. Um, he just doesn't stage scary scenarios. Um, he doesn't, you know, really anything he doesn't get great performances out of his actors and it it just it it just falls short and it's unfortunate because this is the guy who directed the boy (laughs) and like i've seen him i was like this guy knows how to do some of these things Uh, he also directed a movie called stay alive um which was like a video game oriented horror movie and you know that while not the scariest or greatest of horror films interesting entertaining and to see that guy who Directed the first one, not even get close this time around. Like, it just, it, 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 it hurt me <laughs> deeply because it just left so much to be desired. And same for Stacey Manier. I'm, I'm going to go so far to say that, like, shame on you because you wrote the boy. So, like, if you're going to now change things... Probably should have gone the route we talked about earlier. That would have made a hell of a lot more sense. And instead, you came up with someone's like, wait, 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 this has been going on the whole time. What was the whole bit with this? Like, you're just telling me that, like, this made that happen? Like, no, it doesn't work. And that's where the blame falls, man. It falls on Brent Bell and Manier. And it's unfortunate because these are the same two people that did the first one. They should know better. So, I, I hate to end our Horror Movie Tuesday on such a low note, but... Brahms the boy too. Just stay away. Uh, it's bad. Or if you if you've seen a movie that you wanted to be good, you were looking forward to, and it just completely fell flat on its face. Watch Brahms the boy too, and then go back and watch that movie. You'll probably like it a heck of a lot more than you did the last time. That's the best thing I can say about Brahms the boy too. It could elevate 
any movie when looking at it side by side because it's it, there's just nothing to it. So there you go, man. Those are all my non-spoiler thoughts on Brahms, the boy, too. Just an epic failure for me, uh, which is totally unfortunate because uh, I, I liked, you know, I like Haunted Doll stories, the Annabelle universe and series, even the ones that aren't as good as the others. They all at least entertain me and work. I was hoping I was going to get that even though I knew it was going to undercut the first one and it just did all the things wrong. So those are all my thoughts, man. Now I know what you're thinking. Did you see the boy? Where'd you land on the boy? Did you like the boy? Did you like the twist about the boy? Or didn't that not work for you? And because that didn't work for you, did you get more excited about this movie? And if you saw it, what'd you think? Did it work? Did, did, did Were you more happy with this version of the story compared to the original version of the story? Or were you just as unbelievably disappointed as I was in the whole thing? Um, anything you're thinking, if you've seen the movie, goes down below. If you haven't seen the movie... If I enticed you to see this movie, much like I said with Fantasy Island, if I enticed you to see this movie, even more so than Fantasy Island, I want to know why. Like, what about what I said made you go, I want to go see that. I mean, like, I understand bad movies being entertaining sometimes. Because they're so bad, that's not even this, man. This thing literally is just a zero. It's just flatline. Got nothing to it. So if I have somehow made you want to check that movie out, tell me why. And what about that movie you would look forward to? Anything you're thinking, good or I would assume mostly bad, I can go down below in the comments section. I look forward to talking to you guys down there. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're new, you want to come hang out with the old C-Man anytime we're talking movies, TV, trailers, one thing, one thing only to do. I recommend jumping over there, hitting that subscribe button. One, makes me happy, helps me out. Two, brings you into the fold, puts me in your feed so you can keep up to date with C-Man videos if you enjoy what we're doing here. And three, if you really like what we're doing here, uh, you know, do more than just join the Cinema Sit Down Squad. Uh, hit that little bell that follows you get alerts every time I drop a new video. Uh, so there you go, man. That is the end. I feel so bad that our day ended here. Um, but this is the end of our Horror Movie Tuesday. I've had a lot of fun talking horror movies with you guys. I always have fun talking horror anything with you guys. Uh, so thank you uh, for joining, riding along, and interacting with me today. Again, I apologize for ending on such a low note. But until next time, baby, for the C-Man's Cinema, sit down. I'm the C-Man. I'm signing off. Peace. Well. I'll be. You guys are still here. You must be looking for some more content. Well, don't worry. C-Man's got you covered, man. You got videos like this guy and this guy. And if you haven't yet and you want to come check out all the C-Man goodies, join the Cinema Sit-Down Squad, man. Hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the little bell down below that, too, so you can get alerts every time I make new videos.